so far we have looked at how charges or charge distributions give rise to electric field and potential and how to calculate them. From now on for a two or three for two or three lectures we are going to focus on what happens to the energy to the system when we assemble a set of charges or assemble a distribution of charge. So, what we are going to work on is the energy and work in electrostatics. Let us start with the simplest example. If I have a point charge q 1 let us say and I bring another point charge q 2 to a distance let us say r 1 2 from it then by the definition of the potential the work done in doing so will be equal to the potential at r 1 2 due to charge q 1 times q 2 and this is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q 1 q 2 over r 1 2. You see this is symmetric in q 1 and q 2. So, I could also have thought of this work as the work done in bringing charge q 1 to a distance r 1 2 from q 2 or the work in bringing q 1 in the potential of q 2 at a distance r 1 2 from q 2. What we are interested in now is what happens when I bring an assembly of charges many many charges and finally, go to a charge distribution. So, that it is described by the charge density rho. Now, first what is the significance of this work? and what kind of energy is this? Well, since this is energy due to position of charges is potential energy and the significance is that this is the amount of work that we have done in assembling these charges and therefore, if I leave q 1 and q 2 by themselves if they are the same charges they will repel from each other and therefore, start rushing away. Finally, reaching infinite distance let us say this is infinite with speed v 2 and v 1. So, that their energy half let us say the mass of the first charge is m 1 and mass of the second charge is m 2 then the total kinetic energy m 1 v 1 square plus 1 half m 2 v 2 square will be equal to this initial energy that we said is in the charge distribution and therefore, this will be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q 1 q 2 over r 1 2. What kind of magnitude of energy are we talking about? Let us say q 1 is of the order of micro coulomb, q 2 is of the order of micro coulomb. Then this potential energy we are talking about and let me it will be of the order of 10 raise to minus 12 times 9 times 10 raise to 9 divided by if the distance is say 1 centimeter between them. So, this will be 10 raise to minus 2 of the order of 1 joule. This is the kind of energy we are talking about if these are micro coulombs then the energy is of the order of 1 joule if they are at a distance of 1 centimeter. Imagine what would happen if there were 1 coulomb then the energy would be 10 raise to 9. You can already see that 1 coulomb is a lot and lot of charge. Next what happens when many charges q 1, q 2, q 3 and so on are there. Let us assemble them one by one. So, I have charge q 1 and let us bring q 2 to a distance r 1 2 and in doing so I have done work which is 1 over 4 pi 
epsilon 0 q 1 q 2 over r 1 2. Let me now bring in charge q 3 and let us say this is at a distance r 1 3 from charge q 1 and r 2 3 from charge q 2. In bringing this charge, I am doing work against the force provided by q 1 and force due to q 2 and therefore, the energy is going to be some of the potential energy due to these two charges. So, I am going to get the additional terms which are 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 potential energy of q 3 due to charge q 1 and notice that this is all principle of using principle of superposition we are just adding it up. So, this is going to be q 1 q 3 over r 1 3 plus 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q 2 q 3 over r 2 3. Next let us bring in charge q 4. This will now be coming in the potential of these three charges. So, now I will add three contributions. So, this is going to be 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q 1 q 4 over r 1 4 plus 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q 2 q 4 over r 2 4 plus 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q 3 q 4 over r 3 4 and then I can e keep adding these terms. If you look at a pattern in all this, you will notice that I can write this as if I have charge q 1, if I bring next n minus 1 charges, then I have q j summation j equals 2 through n. Of course, there is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 outside. So, these are the terms, let me point them out here. In presence of 1, I have this term, I have this term. So, q 2, q 3, q 4 and so on. Next, in bringing these charges, I have also done work against potential due to q 2. So, it will be q 2, q j. I have already accounted for interaction between 1 and 2. So, j will be equal to 3 to n. So, this is r 1 j. This is next term is divided by r 2 j. Next, I will be counting the potential energy due to bringing all these charges in presence of charge 3. So, I will have q 3 times q j. However, notice that I have already accounted for q 1 q 3 in this term and q 2 q 3 in the second term and therefore, I have j equals 4 through n over r 3 j and so on. The last term the red one accounts for this term, this term was already accounted for in the second term and so on. So, in general when I have an assembly of charges, when I have n charges, I can write the potential energy is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 summation i equal to 1 through n and in presence of each ith charge, I am doing work from j which is greater than i up to n q i q j divided by r i j. I would like you to expand this and see that this sets well with what we derived earlier. I can also write this as 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 1 half of i equals 1 through n j equals 1 through n that means, I am now allowing j to vary not just from i greater than i to n, but all the j's. So, I will be double counting each q i q j. So, I divide this by the factor of half here, but still keeping i not equal to j q i q j over r i j. So, that is the expression for the energy of an assembly of charges. So, let us write this again. I should be careful. Let me write not this not as v, but as w that is the work done. So, energy of this assembly of charges is equal to the work done 
and bringing all these charges together which is going to be 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 1 half summation i equals 1 through n summation j equals 1 through n i not equal to j q i q j over r i j. This is the energy that is there in assembly of q charges. Let us now look at what happens when I go to a distribution and what that means is if I have a charge distribution, I can think of this charge distribution as if there is a charge somewhere in this volume shown by red, there is a charge somewhere in this volume shown by blue and there is an interaction between them. Let us write the position of charge in red to be, let me show this by red, r and the one by blue by r prime, then the distance between them is going to be modulus of r minus r prime. Then the interaction energy between these two is going to be density at r times volume small volume d v that is a charge there, then density at r prime times the volume at r prime divided by the distance between them and then I integrate over v and v prime and do 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0. When we do this integration that means I am taking this charge multiplying and adding all these charges and therefore, I should also be dividing by a factor of 2 here just like we did in counting the charges q i and q j. So, the final expression for the energy then comes out to be 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 1 half integration rho r rho r prime over r minus r prime dr dr prime. You may ask what happened to i not equal to j term. Well, we are taking these volumes here or this, this, red, vo this red volume here or the blue volume here to be infinitesimal small and therefore, when I multiply rho r dv and rho r prime d v prime with r equal to r prime, this becomes infinitesimally very, very, very small in the sense that this divided by r minus r prime goes to 0 and therefore, there is no problem of self energy like q i i equal to j term in the previous expression that we derived earlier here, where we put i not equal to j. So, when you have a continuous distribution, so that these volumes are microscopic or macroscopically very small, so that the product goes to roughly 0, then there is no problem, this remains 0 and there is no problem of self interaction. And so, finally, we write E of a distribution of charge, which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, 1 half double integration d v d v prime rho r rho r prime over r minus r prime. In the next lecture, we are going to solve some examples of energy of some distribution of charges.